change in climatic conditions over the last few years has had an impact on a number of wetlands in the country. Environmental experts are alarmed that some of the wetlands are facing extinction if nothing is done to protect the critical water catchment areas for future posterity. That's right. Now, tonight on Citizen Planet, Emily Jabet explores the coming back to life of Lake Ol Bolosat that is being threatened by the lack of luster attitude by the government to invest in efforts to conserve it. Take a listen. The extensive, dry and now dusty bed of Lake Olbolosat acted as maternity for these endangered. This is April 2023. Cracked bare land signifies the extent of the drought that had ravaged several parts of the country. This is the bed of Lake Olbolosat in Nyandarwa County. The livelihoods were totally disrupted. Animals that depended on the lake died. These birds, the grey crown crane whose maternity bed had been adversely affected, struggling to survive. A year later, with the coming of rains, the only highland in the central part of Kenya is regaining life. Fishermen are back, but with new challenges. The lake was once known for activities including fishing, boat rides and bird watching. But the encroachment of wetlands by farmers, private developers and animal grazers has largely contributed to the diminishing of the lake. Remember this lake began as a 36,000 square kilometers uh, land. It came down to about uh, 24,000 after some parts were grabbed. Later it came down all the way to 10,000 kilometers square. The lake was listed as Kenya's 61st important bird area by the National Liaison Committee on IBAs led by Nature Kenya in 2008. This was a result of confirmation that the world's rarest bird species, the Sheep's Long Claw and Jackson's Widow Bird, were being threatened with extinction. The little amount of water at the moment and the obvious neglect cannot be overlooked. We have several agencies who claim uh, to have a direct interest with the lake, the environment, uh, the KWS, the county government of Nyandarwa. But uh, we, we have not really defined how the lake uh, should be protected. Nyandarwa County Governor Dr. Moses Kiari says the national government should act fast and ensure protection of the important resource to the county and the nation at large. A report by a group of civil society, private sector and government institutions in 2020 recommended the lake to be gazetted as the seventh ram society in the country. This means the wetland will be of international importance due to its nature in hosting important wildlife and endangered bird species. We did a very good report. We handed it over to the, Minister, the State Department of Environment and uh, Wildlife. But to date, we are trying to follow up, but nothing much has been done. As a county, we have already set aside about six million to try and plant trees around the lake and also on the hills. The fate of this critical national resource lies with the government, the community calling for serious intervention in this source of livelihoods. Kuna watu wanafaja boating hapa, kama zile unaona pale mbele. Watu wengi wanakuja hapa kuna samaki, wako hapa ndani. Kuna bawa ndege zingine, simi natoka nchi zingine mbali, kama, kama, kama inchi, inchi sambali, kama ndege aina elfu tatu, sinaishi hapa. Watari wanapo kuja kuziona, unapota ya kwamba, sisi wenyewe tunapata pesa. How long this lake will fight to remain or how fast it will go back to last year's state depends on the action from the relevant stakeholders. Emily Chabet, Citizen TV.